Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and I am back again with another Creative Cow tutorial. And in our ongoing look at learning Avid Media Composer and Symphony, I jokingly refer to this lesson as a proper fade out. Now, what exactly do I mean by a proper fade out? Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. I have a clip here, which is sort of a common mistake that I see editors making all the time. You'll see that we have text, white text on a background. And what basically happens is nothing fancy at the end. This is going to fade out. Obviously, this technique was done on two layers, the text being the top layer, background obviously being the second layer. And basically, there's just a fade on both elements. And what happens is, you'll see if I get down to the end here and everything starts to fade out, that as the fade out starts to happen, I can actually see through this text to the background element. Now, this is not a proper fade to black. You'll see that just looks very odd. But you know what? This is a mistake that I see editors make all the time. And it's something that's actually very simple to fix. And what I'm going to do in this lesson is I'm going to show you how to do a proper fade to black. I know it sounds kind of funny that I would that I would dedicate an entire lesson to this, but it's something very important, especially, you know, these days with people, you know, knowing a lot more about what we do, you know, with all these DVD, you know, commentaries behind the scenes and things like that. People are watching. And to do something like this just looks sloppy when really with a couple more clicks of the mouse, you can have this fade out look proper and look correct. Okay, short introduction here. Let's just get into Symphony and let's get started. Okay, so let's Alt Tab into Avid Symphony, obviously Command Tab for all my Mac friends out there. And what I'm going to do is just grab a clip here. It doesn't really matter what it's from. We'll just choose, why don't we just choose a different motocross shot here? Sure, why not this one? What I'm going to do is just mark an endpoint. We'll just mark an out point. Well, let's just have our motocross guy right there. There we go. Perfect. This actually probably would be more BMXing because he's just on a regular bike here as opposed to motocross. What I'm going to do is just hit B on the keyboard on both Mac and Windows. We'll just create a new sequence inside our sequences bin. I just want to delete this audio because I don't need it anymore. And what I'm going to do is just come down to the end here and show you how we had this set up in the introduction. I'm just going to put a dissolve on the end here. We'll just hit fade here. Um, why don't we make this, I don't know, 10 frames. We'll just simply say add. There we go. I'm just going to create a new layer by hitting Control and Y on a Windows, Command and Y on the Mac. And let's just create a new title here. I'm just going to close this motocross bin here. I'm just going to come up to Clip. We'll just say New Title. Just select the standard title tool. We'll call this The Right Fade Out. Yeah, sure, why not? We give it a big exclamation mark there. Okay, so of course we're going to choose my favorite font, Impact. There we go. Let's just make the point size, I don't know, 120. Don't want to make it too big here. And let's just stretch it all the way across the screen. There we go. Just center it up. I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, so what we're going to do is just save this out. Call it the right fade out. Okay, so there it is. What most people do again, with this top layer selected, I'm going to hit T on the keyboard on both Mac and Windows. We're going to edit this in. Now, first of all, the sort of the first mistake I always see editors make is they come down to the end, they hit the dissolve key, the shortcut on the keyboard, they add a dissolve. Now, why would you do that? Because basically now what you've done is doubled up the amount of effects, of effects on this layer. You'll see we have the title one effect, and we have the dissolve another effect. Now, depending on how fast your system is, you could already start to run into problems. What I normally like to do, I'm just going to remove this effect by hitting F5 on my keyboard. Now, that's my shortcut for remove effect. If you don't have it mapped, don't worry. You can always find it right there at the top of your timeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove that fade out. And instead, I'm going to use another great shortcut that I have mapped to my keyboard. And for me, it's mapped as F12, which is simply called fade effect. You'll see it just says simply how long do you want this to fade up for, and how long do you want this to fade out for? Well, we know we want it to fade out for 10 frames. I'm just simply going to say, OK, you'll see what's actually happened here is no effect has been applied. But if I step into effects mode by pressing Shift and Y, now you'll remember again, effects mode, if you don't have it mapped, you can find it right here at the, top, or at the bottom of your composer window or over here at the top of your timeline. You'll see that basically just keyframes have been added to fade out this title. Now, what I'm going to do here is you'll see that if I come right about there. What I'm going to do is just step back into effects mode. I'm just going to zoom in here just so you can see. Again, I can see through this text. You'll see I'll just move the window over just like that. So I, like I said, I can actually see through this text. A little bit tricky to see over gray, but trust me, you saw from the intro, that is what is going on. So what do we do? 
Well, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to punch in remove effect here, or fade effect. I'm going to come back down. I'm going to put the fade down to be at zero. So we have no fade out whatsoever. It's going to tell me that one keyframe is going to be deleted. That's fine. And I'm going to remove this effect right here. So now basically what we have is just the footage and the title all the way to the end. Now, if I only had two layers of video, I'm not going to have any more layers of video. Nothing else is going to be added. The easiest way to get in and fade these both out at the same time so that everything is proper is we're going to pre-comp these two together by simply selecting both layers, hitting T on the keyboard. Now, my shortcut for collapse or pre-comp, you'll hear me refer to it as pre-comp just because I'm accustomed to working with it like that in After Effects. It's actually referred to in Media Composer and Symphony as collapse. You can actually find it right here at the top of your timeline. What I'm going to do is just collapse these two layers down. I'm now going to come down and I'm now going to put a fade on it just like such. Ending at, and guess what we now have? We now have a proper fade to black where you cannot see through the text over top of the footage. Very nice. Okay, so let me just undo what I just did here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to use a different technique here. Now, same technique, sa same idea in the technique, but here's where I would use this one as opposed to the one that I just did. Let's say I had eight layers of uh, effects and titles and things moving in and out. I know that I'm going to be adding more in, and I don't want to be constantly stepping in and stepping out of a uh, collapse. You know, for example, if I take this, I collapse it down. If I want to get in and I want to adjust anything like the title, I either have to double click on the collapse or what I have to do is I have to be stepping in and stepping out of it all the time. So how do I get around that? What I'm going to do is hit Control and Y on the keyboard on both, uh, or actually on Windows, it's Command and Y for all my Mac friends out there. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to head back to the title tool. Now I know you're probably thinking to yourself, Kev, why are you heading back to the title tool? What could I possibly need inside of the title tool? Well, here's what I need. Black. What I'm going to do is just turn the video layer off. I'm now going to close this title. We're going to save this out as black. I'm just going to call it again appropriately enough. Black. There we go. I'm just going to take, oh, I don't know, let's say, you know, if we want this to be, I don't know, 30 frames. Actually, we're working in 24, so why don't we go 24 frames? I'm just going to say plus 24. And we're going to make sure that we come back one frame here so that we have 24 frames. I'm going to come all the way down to the end. And basically what I'm going to do is just edit this above all of the clips below it. So like I said, you know, you might have two layers, three layers, six layers, 12 layers, 15 layers. But you know you're going to be getting in, adding more, taking stuff out, adjusting stuff. But you always want that fade there, you know, so the client can always see it. Well, you know what? No problem. All I have to do now is simply, again, hit F12 on the keyboard, my shortcut for fade effect. And what I want to do is I want to fade up to black. So what I'm going to do is set that first value here to be 24. I'm going to say OK. You'll see that the effect is too short to apply to the fade, probably because it needs to be 23. So let's just do 23 here. And that's going to be tricky on me. So what I'm going to do instead is just step into effects mode here. I'm going to come right down to the beginning, add a keyframe. We'll just make sure down at the end here we add another keyframe. And let's just fade this out all together. There we go. And I'm just going to zoom out a bit here. Because now basically what I've done is just created my own custom fade just like that now the great part with this is if I wanted to I could just you know let's create you know two new layers here it's gonna move this up because I need to do some more work here I need to take another clip like motocross here I'm just gonna grab sure this clip here we're gonna take that we're gonna drop it in here I'm just gonna come in I'm just gonna grab an effect here quickly let's just grab 3d warp we're gonna take this layer like I said we're gonna shrink it down here let's just grab our right corner here. I'm just going to take it, stick it over here. And the best part is, oh, client's coming to look at this. You know, we really need to see what the fade out. You know what? No problem. Let's just select the top layer of video. Let's hit play and everything's going to fade out together. You see, so another great way to add a fade. I mean, I know getting in, just hitting the dissolve key is simple, but it really doesn't in a lot of cases give you exactly what you need, which is a proper fade to black. Now, there's one last technique that I need to show you. And this is a technique that I use all the time. So here's the situation. You've been given a piece that's already been edited and already has fade ins and fade outs from black or from really any color. It doesn't really matter. And what you need to do is you need to get in and add a title to the top of that and you need to have it fade out properly. There's a couple ways that you can do it. And I'm going to show you sort of the, I'll call it the lazy man way and then I'll show you the way that I do it all the time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to remove both of these layers here. 
And I'm actually going to remove everything here because I have a clip in here that already has a fade out inside of my sequences, but I have something called fade right here. Same clip that I used in the introduction. I'm just simply going to select the entire clip using T on the keyboard on both Mac and Windows. I'm going to use B to edit it in. I'm just going to remove all the layers that I'm not using. You'll see right down here at the end, fades to black on its own. Now, what we're going to do here, I'm just going to count back here. We're just going to go 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So that dissolve is 20 frames. Okay? So there's a couple things that I can do. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the right fade out here. Again, create a new layer, Control and Y on the keyboard on both Mac and Windows. It's actually Command and Y for all my Mac friends out there. I don't know why I was saying that. Control and Y. Control and Y for Windows, Command and Y for all my Mac friends. Now, you'll see this fades out. Now, the lazy man way to get around this is, of course, to add that layer of video over top of this, the black, or what you could even do, there's another great one here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to come in here. I'm going to do a dissolve. This is another technique for you. And I'm simply going to say fade to color. What we're going to do is we're going to set the duration to be 20 frames. And I'm simply going to say add. And so what's going to happen now is that everything is going to fade to black. It still doesn't give us the proper fade out, though. You see, it doesn't quite look right. So how would I do a proper fade to black? Well, let me show you. What I'm going to do is just remove that effect. And I'm actually going to come and I'm going to step into this title. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the graphic fill layer. You'll see it's just white because obviously our title is going to cut out that white and we're going to be able to see it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an edit right about here. It doesn't really matter where as long as it's sort of, you know, away from either the end or the start where you're going to be adding uh, where you're going to want to have your fade out happen. So what I'm going to do is just do it right about here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come all the way down to the end. And what I'm going to do is instead of having this title stay as white, I'm actually going to have the title fade to black. And how you do that is very easy. What I'm going to do is simply hit dissolve on the keyboard. It's my keyboard shortcut. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in and I'm going to say that ending at the cut, I want to do a fade to color. I'm simply going to say add, and you'll see that what happens is now is that it goes from the fill of being white to fade to a fill of being black. Now what happens is that if I step out, take a look at what happens. I'm just going to come along here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to step into effects mode so that I can zoom in and you can see what's going on. Because you'll remember if I actually just minimize Symphony here for a second, you'll remember if I come back here to this original clip, I'm just going to view this at half size, and I jump down to the end here where the fade starts to happen. You can see immediately right here, I can see through the I, the S, pretty much everything right through to the background. We'll take a look at what's happened now with the technique I just showed you. If we take this, I'm just going to hold Control and Alt on the keyboard, Command and Option on the Mac just to move over to the TH and the THE and the R. You'll see now if I come through frame by frame, take a look at that. What's happening now is that fade to color is kicking in. It's not transparent. It's filling it with black. And we now have a proper fade out on something that really couldn't have been done any other way except for really the lazy man way, which is just throwing that text on top and adding a fade. This is a technique I use pretty much on a daily basis as I get tons of masters coming in that already have fades on them and I need to get in and add supers to them like this and make it appear as though that text was there the entire time. But little did they know, I got in and added this text after the fact and you would never know the difference. So I hope this tutorial has shown you that even though it might seem like something as trivial as a fade out or a fade in, it's something that's exceptionally important that you get it right. And in most cases, you can't just hit the old dissolve shortcut on the keyboard to add that in there. You need to think through what you're doing to get the best possible end result for your client. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, you have any tutorial requests, you can send them to Kevin P. McAuliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.